So for this problem, let's choose point two to be at the exceeding point of the smaller diameter hose that is at the height of skylight and point one to be at the entry point of the larger diameter hose at the ground level. So for part point one, y1 is going to be equal to zero, r1 is given which is one centimeter equivalent to 0 0.01 meter. And at point two, y2 equals eight meter, which is the height, right? And radius of the hose is 0 0.8 centimeter, which is 0 0.008 meter. And the pressure is one atmosphere, which is equivalent to 1.01 .01 times 10 to the five Newton per meter squared. And our desired speed of water at point two is six meter per second. All right, now we want to find P1 and V1, okay? So let's begin. So I'm gonna draw a line over here, just like this. Now, first of all, from the equation of continuity, the flow rate at point one must be same as flow rate at point two. That means Q1 equals Q2. That's going to imply that A1, V1 equals A2, V2, all right? So that means pi R1 squared, V1 equals pi R2 squared, V2, since area is not given, the radius of the hose is given, so pi R1 squared, V1, that's the area. So this is going to give us V1 equals R2 squared over R1 squared, times V2, okay? So this is the relationship over here. So from here, we can calculate V1, which is R2 squared was 0 0.008 squared over 0 0.01 squared times six. Again, I'm skipping the units because everything I have converted into standard units, all right? So from here, I'm gonna get 3.84 meter per second, all right? Now, using the Bernoulli equation, K1 plus U1 or UG1 plus P1 is going to be equal to K2 plus UG2 plus P2. And this means half rho V1 squared. Remember, point one had Y equals zero, so UG1 is going to be zero, so I'm gonna not write anything there. I'm gonna go to P1, okay? equals half rho v2 squared plus rho g y2 plus p2. So from here, p1 equals half rho v2 squared minus v1 squared plus rho g y2 plus p2. Now plug in the value of everything we have got here. So one by two, rho for water is 1000 kg per meter cube. So that is 1000 kg per meter cube in standard units. And V2 squared was six meter per second. That was the desired speed. So six squared minus 3.84 meter per second squared, V1 squared that we calculated plus another one row, which is 1,000 kg per meter cube for water, and G is 9.8 meter per second squared times eight, plus P1 was the atmospheric pressure, 1.01 .01 times 10 to the five. So this is going to be equal to 1.90 times 10 to the five Newton per meter squared. 
All right. Which is going to be equal to P1. You can write this as 1.88 atmospheric pressure. <laughs> 